I used to be a member of Mensa, the Society for High IQ People, and then I left. This is why. So just over 20 years ago, I took an IQ test, found that I was pretty intelligent with an IQ of 151, which puts me in the top 2% of the most intelligent people on the planet. So I joined Mensa. They convinced me to join. I paid my money. I joined up. Uh, didn't do a lot with it, but I, I did write an article that I got published. Does anybody remember Second Life? Probably not. So I was a member of Mensa. I got the magazine. I got the membership card. And life went on. Pay my money every month. Getting sent the magazine every month reading the magazine. So the reason that I left Mentor in the end is I found that I was paying the money but I wasn't attending any of the special events. I mean, because as well as having a high IQ, I'm also an introvert, which means I'm not a big fan of, uh, of mixing with people at social events. So even though Mentor were arranging little get-togethers and games nights and all sorts of other events. I wasn't interested in any, any of those. So basically, all I was doing, I was paying my monthly fee just to get the free magazine and basically being able to have the status of being able to say to people, I'm a member of Mensa. I wasn't really getting my money's worth out of it, if I'm honest. Uh, it was just literally, I was just paying for a status thing to be able to say to people, I'm a member of Mensa, and do people mean Mensa do that? Probably not. And anyway, I still carry the card around in my, in my wallet, so if I want to boast to people, I can, uh, I can pull out the old Mensa card and say, oh, look at me. I used to be a member of Mensa. And believe it or not, flashing the old Mensa card isn't actually the impressive thing for chatting up the women that you'd think it would be. I mean, what woman wouldn't be impressed by a Mensa card? But no, apparently not. Apparently it doesn't count for much, but there you go. So, so that's the story really. It was, it's paying money for a status thing, you know. It's, it's not like I, it's not like I got kicked out because I uh, suddenly realised I wasn't as smart as I thought I was or anything like that. It was, it was literally, I was paying, I was paying for a status symbol, and I know people do pay money for status symbols anyway, but it did just seem like something that wasn't really necessary. I took the test, you know, I know I've got a high IQ, whether I actually do any cons anything constructive with that is a debate for another video, but I figured why pay the money? I pay the money for just being able to say that I'm in Mensa. It just really didn't seem worth it. But fair play to everybody who's in it. Fair play to everybody who likes social events. I'm sure they're very good. You know, if, if people are sociable creatures, then why not mix with people in your own intellectual group? But no, for me, just not my thing. But there you go. So that's my story of why I why I used to be a Mensa and why I'm not anymore. They didn't, they didn't kick me out for uh, crimes against intelligence, although that could be a thing. It was just purely by choice. Anyway, so that's my story. If you liked it, then like it. If you have thoughts on it, if you remember a Mensa, if you like going to the events, let me know in the comments section because I'm, I'm, I'm sure they're good. I'm sure they're good events. And if you'd like to know what other ramblings come out of my he head at some point, then please subscribe to the channel. I mean, it's not all highbrow intellectual stuff. It's, it's not even that highbrow at all. It's just me talking rubbish, whatever comes out of my head, talking about other random stuff, you know. So if you like it, subscribe. If not, I don't blame you. Anyways, take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.